Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five joyful mysteries. The first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the finding of the child Jesus at the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only begotten Son, Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. God our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our works and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By, By your will, will O God, God in, in your name, name O Lord, Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountain as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the black shepherds. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. As your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning, attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is for all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad, and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in, your de in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are the grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hands are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. 
The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, by His wondrous grace, we are enriched with every blessing. Grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer. As she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel. And he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All of people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood up in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel, the elders said, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age! How have your past sins come to term? Passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty, although the Lord, the Lord says, The innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you your head, for the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you into two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel. In their fear, they yielded to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head. For the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words, Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. 
Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are on my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Please stand. Sinabi ng pong mahal, di ko nais na mamatay ang mga makasalan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning, he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They say this to test him so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? He replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang patibong, ang inihanda ng mga iskriba at pariseyo para sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Hinarapan siya ng isang kaso. Kaso ng isang babaeng nahuli sa akto ng pakikiapid sa di niya asawa, adulterio, na ang parusang ginagawa na ayon sa batas ni Moses ay babatuhin. Babatuhin. Hanggang sa mamatay, marahil. Kapag ka pumasok ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa paghatol sa kasong ito, talunan siya sa lahat ng dako. Pag sinabi niyang ipatupad ang batas ni Moses, masisira ang pangalan niya sa mata ng lipunan bilang isang Panginoon at Maestro ng pangunawa at pagpapatawad. Kung sasabihin naman niyang hindi, 
magmumukha siyang konsintidor at pinahihinto ang pamamahala ng batas sa lipunan. Ay anong kinilos ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Parang bata. Nagsusulat dun sa lupa gamit yung kanyang daliri. Ewan ko kung ano ginagawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, kung ano sinusulat niya doon. Walang sinabi Ebanghelyo, kung nagdo-drawing lang siya o ano pa. Pero para niyang hindi binibigyang pansin yung sinasabi ng mga eskriba at pariseyo, ganong napakaselan itong kasong ito, buhay o kamatayan. Subalit, nagpumilit itong mga eskriba at pariseyo kung ano hatol ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sapagkat gusto nga nilang pahiyain ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo at sirain ang kanyang pangalan. Kaya isang sagot lang ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ang sino man sa inyong walang kasalanan ang unang bumato sa babaeng ito. Ano ibig sabihin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dyan? Nasa paghahatol, lalo na sa moralidad, hindi lamang yung batas ang palulutangin mo. Isang napakahalagang import, napakahalaga na elemento sa pangunawa ng batas ay eh yung elemento ng konsyensya ng mga taong nagpapakilos sa batas. Sa mga katwid, kapag ka yung mga nagpapakilos at nagpapatupad sa batas, eh may malisya. May malisya. Yung batas, kahit na mabuti ang layunin, ay nababaluktot. Sapagkat ang paiiralin ay yung kanilang gusto kung ano makabubuti sa kanilang sarili. At kung may malisya at marumi ang budhe, ay eh wala naman niyang Diyos na kinikilala at wala namang pagmamalasakit sa kapwa-tao. Sa mga katwin, yung gusto lang nilang ibig pairalin. At yon ang gagawing interpretasyon sa batas. Kaya yung batas, nawawala ng bisa. Ang batas, kaya pinasulat yung batas upang pairalin ang kapakanan ng lipunan. Kapakanan, kabutihan ng lipunan. Pero kapag ka ang magpapagkilos nito ay eh mga taong may malisya, yung mga walang budhi, ang itim nagiging puti. Yung puti nagiging itim. Ang tuwid na babaluktot at yung baluktot natutuwid. Kaya doon sila hinarap ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sinabi nila, eto, batas ni Moses. Sabi nga nun. E tinignan niya yung mga gustong magpatupad doon. May mga dala ng bato, no? Handa na silang ipatupad yung batas ni Moses. Sabi nila, oh, ito ba yung kasong ito? Para ganun ang sinasabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nababasa niya mga puso ng mga taong nandun doon. Ay bang nagpunta rito, italagang ibig niyong ipatupad. Ang kapakanan ng lipunan nakasama yung kapakanan itong babaeng inyong sinusuplong o meron kayong mga personal na agenda na meron kayong mga pansariling programa na ginagamit nyo lang ang batas hindi para sa kapakanan ng lipunan hindi dahil kayo natatakot sa Diyos kundi sapagkat meron kayong mga pansariling mga ambisyon 
at may pansariling layunin. Sa makatwin, tulak ng inyong mga Malaysia. Sino sa inyo ang mga nandito na walang Malaysia? Na malinis ang budhi. Yun. E nakikita ng Panginoong Yesu Kristo ang puso ng bawat isa sa kanila ay nagsipunta doon. No? Na ang layunin ay eh, talagang gipitin lang siya at ginamit yung kasong yun upang siya'y gipitin. Kaya hindi pinagtatanggol yung sinusuplong. Walang pagmamalasakit. Walang awa. Bakit? Yun lang gusto nila ang ibig mangyari. May mali siya. At kahit anong dami ng batas, meron ka. At kahit anong kusay ng batas, meron ka. Kapag ka ang magbabasa noon at magpapatupad niyon ay mga taong malisyoso at malisyosa, mawawala ng bisa ang batas. Kaya kadalasan hindi yun sa kakulangan ng batas eh. Ang kakulangan ay yung mga taong mahusay magpatupad ng batas. Yung mga tao sanang mabubuti ang budhi, malilinis ang budhi. Yung bang may pananagutan sa Diyos at may pagmamalasakit sa kapwa-tao. Kapag kayong mga nagpapatupad ng batas, ay eh marurumi ang budhi. May malisya ang kanilang mga puso. Kahit na anong dami ng batas, kahit na anong husay ng batas, lahat yan mababaluktot. Ang puti ay magiging itim at ang itim magiging puti. O tingnan nyo na lang sa ating bayan, ang dami-daming batas. Gawa pa ng gawa ng batas. O, oh, kumikilis ba yung batas? O ginagamit sa mga pansarili lamang layunin? Malaysia! Pagkaya ng pumasok sa puso ng tao, walang kapayapaan. Kaya nga yung kapayapaan ay nangyayari lang sa mga taong may mabubuting budhi at mahuhusay na konsyensya. Pagka ang malisya pumasok sa puso ng tao, marumi ang puso, masama ang tingin. At ngayon, kung sila'y hahatol, anong makikita nila? Kaya ito ang babala ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa mga nagsisihatol. Mateo 7, 5. Ano ang sabi niya? Huwag kayong magbalat kayo. Alisin niyo muna ang troso sa inyong mga mata upang maging malinaw ang inyong paningin. At doon makikita ninyo kung ano ang puwing na aalisin sa inyong mga kapatid. Oh, baka tayo may troso sa ating mga mata. Hatol tayo ng hatol. Hindi muna natin tinitingnan yung ating mga puso. Kung ito, e may Malaysia. Hatol ng hatol na may Malaysia. Hindi tayo makakaranas ng kapayapaan. Sapagkat ang sinabi sa kasulatan, peace to men of goodwill. Kapayapaan sa mga taong may malinis na kalooban. Hanggat ang mga humahatol Hanggat ang mga nagpapalakad ng batas ay may malisya, may troso ang mga mata. At hindi nila maaalis maski maliit na puwing sa mata ng kanilang kapatid. Pagdasal natin na sana'y maalis yung mga troso ng ating mga mata, Maging malinis ang ating budhi, maliwanag ang ating mata upang sa ganong makita natin 
ang tunay na layunin ng batas. Paninindigan sa Diyos at pagmamahal sa kapwa. Magsitayo tayo para magdasal. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those alienated from God through sin may experience the loving mercy of the Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may refrain from passing judgment on others, but look instead at our own lives in the eyes of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those weighed down by hardship and worry may realize that God is never far away from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may strengthen those who have been unjustly accused. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we pray that you steer in our hearts the true sense of justice that we may become men of goodwill so that we may experience the peace that we are all longing. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual gift. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim.
Bismil. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father, our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Has no one condemned you, woman? No one, Lord, neither shall I condemn you from now on, sin no more. Please stand. Whoever follows me does not walk in the dark. He will have the light of life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath we saw to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Whoever follows me does not walk in the dark. He will have the light of life. Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, 
that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults and by following Christ hasten our steps upwards towards you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo sa lahat ng mga nagsidalo sa ating pagdiliwang ng Santa Misa at naway magpatuloy kayo sa pagdadasal sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag asabay din ang aming pagdadasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga sariling pamilya. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page facebook.com Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join me as we pray together the blessing of the sick as well as the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Father Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.